<laughs> I'm doing them quite um, big, Anna. That's how we like them. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully they'll taste just like Ikea. I'm not Shannon Lawson. Well done, Anna. No, it won't make us poorly. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you can see, I'm joined with my family. And today we are going to be making the IKEA meatballs. Yum. have a little tradition before lockdown where we would always go to ikea and we'd always have the meatballs sometimes we would genuinely just drive like 40 minutes up the road to ikea because we wanted the meatballs and gravy have a browse and well and to have a browse but like there wouldn't be a particular reason like we wouldn't no, be going to buy a living room or something we'd i miss just it kind of just go for the food it. yeah we miss it so much and then the other day ikea released the recipe for the meatballs and the gravy sauce whatever it kind of is and as soon as i saw it i got hundreds of messages and dm saying please please do it and i thought what better people to do it with than mama Latticus. i hope you guys enjoy if you do please smash a huge thumbs up and other than that let's get started oven is preheated so the first step we need to do is finely chop one onion and finely chop one clove of garlic i have taken the option of cutting the onion and mum is taking the option of cutting the garlic no you Sorry. said to me <laughs> let's get it right you said to me mum i'll do the onion you do the garlic Garlic. Just because yeah, I like garlic, right? I don't really know how to crush garlic. This is so painful mm. to watch. I'm so sorry. But even garlic is so strong, and even um, it says only one clove though. What? No, one clove is one little bit. Is that? Yeah. I thought that was a clove. I don't know. I never no, one clove of garlic. Oh, there you go, go then, Jesus, Mum. I was going to say garlic. So I was just about to say to you, I never taste garlic in them. First thing we've learned is that mum now knows a clove of garlic yeah, is not the whole prepared. entire this garlic. Is the first time, I'll be honest, I've prepared garlic in my life. Look at my eyes. I'm actually, I can't keep them open. I need to run the tap. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're actually so dramatic, but that is just no, It's not very dramatic, it is like that, but I should have got a crusher. Next up, we have got the beef and pork mince. So we need 500 grams of beef mince, which that's 500, that's 500 grams, isn't it? And, and we need 250 grams of pork mince. So oh, really? Oh, right, okay. So that's the first yeah, thing we okay. need to do. Right, and then if I just chop this. It's going to be so good if it really tastes like it. Well, it's a legit IKEA recipe that they've released, so I don't see why it wouldn't. Yeah. Right, do you want to grab it out because you've already touched the meat? There we go. I'll get rid of that. Right, mum is mixing all of that together and breaking up the lumps. And then we need to add the onion, the garlic, mm. the egg, and mix it together. You yeah. are meant to have breadcrumbs, but we didn't really like- I don't think that's gonna be much of an issue. Anna. I just don't think it's gonna be much of an issue. No. because They're not coated in breadcrumbs anyway. Like if they were coated meatballs or whatever, I think yeah. it would matter, but, but I don't know. Nice. But they're not, so. Right, you start mixing it around as I put it in. Yeah, come on then. Come on then. I'm oh, buzzing, please. I really hope they taste like mm. it. And then, then put the shell in there. Add the egg. What else is it? Mum's proper getting in there. She's mixing it all together. What else is there to add to them? Is that it? Uh, that's it. We were meant to add the breadcrumbs. No obviously. salt or pepper or anything? Oh yeah, you can add salt and pepper, it says. Oh, I nearly forgot the milk. Hang <laughs> on. Five tablespoons. That was the table. So, what was it? Five, did you say? Five, yeah. Two, three. Four, five. There you go, give that a mix. Here we go, the mixture is nearly complete. And then I honestly don't really know how many meatballs this is gonna make. I think it's gonna make a lot. It's gonna, it's a, well it said it made four servings. No, we can't do that. I can't, I've just I can't read, it says shape. No, it'll make a seal. Are you 100%? Right, let me read it. Read it out. It says shape mixture into small yeah. round balls yeah. placed on a clean plate, and cover and store in the fridge for two hours. Yeah. This will help help them hold their shape whilst cooking. Yeah, that just holds the shape. Maybe if we put them in for a half hour. You can't do two hours because that's ridiculous. If we put them in for half an hour, that takes it up to half past three. Mum, no, you have to put them in for no. two hours. The fridge don't cook it. A fridge doesn't cook a meatball. I'm not the one saying anything, Does is it? Cook? No, you're saying it'll make us poorly. <laughs> oh, I just thought of follow the recipe, but okay. Yeah, we need to follow the recipe. We're going to put them in the fridge for half an hour. Not two hours. No, I'm not. But no. mum, it will make you poorly, so yes. Well done, Anna. No, it won't make us poorly. Maybe I'm wrong, no, go it in. I want you in. Right, Anna, I'm going to put them in for half an hour, okay? So I'm going to mould them and put them in for half an hour, okay? But 
Yeah. <laughs> Mum's taking lead and she's go on, give him a good roll. How good is it going over there, guys? It's going very it well. It's going ten course. out of ten. Mum is making some decent sized balls. I'm doing <laughs> I'm doing them quite um big Anna. Anna. That's how we like them. Yeah. Anna. Feels weird. I wanna have a go as well. We should make our own meatballs more often. Those are right, I'll cover them up. Oh, no, 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 not there, in there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You go, I'll show you. I'm not having any. Hopefully they'll taste just like Ikea's. Mum, Mum. Hopefully they'll taste just like Ikea. Hopefully they will. Not taste like Ikea, taste like Ikea's. I'm like Jenna Lawson. <laughs> I don't know if Mum just showed you the balls, but um, yeah. here are our she meatballs. Did. Oh, did she? Yeah, she they... said it in a really funny voice. Here they are, and we need to cover them. Ask her, can you get some cling film or uh, tin foil? No, I don't get tin foil. We don't have any cling film. Oh, we have just taken them out of the fridge. They kind of have all molded into one, but it'll be fine. We're now going to fry them until they're brown, and then we have to put them in the oven for 30 minutes. And then whilst they're in the oven, we can make the sauce. They're all going in. As you can see, they are starting to go brown. Me and Mum both just said they definitely do need to be left in the fridge for two hours. Definitely. We have made that mistake because they are slightly falling apart. Obviously, yeah. it's fine because we kind of need to do it now. We didn't read that they needed to be but put I in would the fridge. Suggest but definitely put them definitely, in the fridge for the full two hours. Yeah, yeah, 100%. They've actually come together a little bit more, the browner yeah. they've gotten. Uh, what have they come like? They look really good. You or Mummy doesn't want to get food poisoned. No, I've, I've overcooked them because I'm funny like that with meat. There we go. So I'm going to say um, 10 pass. It is time to do the sauce. So it says I need 40 grams of butter on the hob. Last time though, when I was doing my KFC, I definitely made the mistake of using too much butter. So I actually think I'm just going to use like the tiniest bit because it was just so buttery last time and I hated it. Melt 40 grams of butter in a pan, whisk in 40 grams of flour and stir for two minutes. That's 12. It's 12, that's good. 23. Right, let me stir it in. You mix up to mix it. You've got to mix that for two minutes. Yeah, and then what? And then add 150 ml of vegetable stock and 150 ml of beef stock and continue to stir. So I've got to start getting this ready so you make that up then. Yeah. So basically, if I put one cube in of each and then add three. Is it? We don't want it to. Yeah, one cube in of each and then 300 ml of water, right? I'm going to make next week, I'm going to do the um, my favourite cake. I was only saying the other day, which I missed Costa Short. So this is ready for that to go in once you've done. I'd go steady. Three. And then we need to add 150 ml of double cream, two teaspoons of soy sauce, one and cream. one teaspoon of mustard. Just over half of that. It's looking the correct colour, which is a start. It definitely looks the same. Yeah. Color. I feel like the cream is going to give it the consistency. The thickness. Yeah, the thickness, yeah. 100%. And it's identical colour so far, so. I think that looks really good. Just over half, but go yes, steady. Yes, over. Please. That's probably just over half. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Let me look. And then one teaspoon. So we should start and get the smell in a minute, I think. What was the other thing I needed? Mustard. To How oh, much yeah, mustard? mustard was it? That's beyond the flour. How much mustard? Uh, again, oh. one teaspoon. What's it? Right, okay. So I actually love mustard so much. Mum's giving it a smell test. Definitely, I think. You Do you think? Yeah, they definitely are getting that thing. Come and smell the... Here we go. Yeah, I, honestly, I Does just it? smelt it. Yeah, I think so. Give it a smell. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Definitely is, isn't it? Mum is just popping some chips in, but the consistency of this gravy is pretty much perfect. So we're going to leave this on the hob now to stay warm. Peas are in the microwave. We are reheating the gravy and we are about to get chips and the meatballs out. I'm so ready for this now. It smells really good. No, it can be, Darling. it can be quite deep. It can. can. You've got your finger. Well, it doesn't catch me. Okay, three, two, stand back. one. Oh, that's perfect. That needs serving, Anna. Please, please. Um, it's okay, I think. I think they look really good. Oh, peas, hang on. Behind the scenes of TikTok. I made a TikTok of the KFC one and everyone loved it, so I'm doing the exact same for the IKEA one. So make sure you follow my TikTok. I've got the deep, ugly blood vine. Oh my god, they smell them. Yeah, smell them. Okay, it looks so good. Do you want any chips? I guess, but you're going to have your dinner in a minute. But you want some on a plate? If you want 
Okay, you can go and copy us. <laughs> Ikea give us a massive plate and mum's give me ten. It is time for the gravy, the main part. So where do you want yours going? I'm gonna have mine pretty much all over. Oh, it's a bit thicker than it was, isn't it? It was, it is. Yeah, but I still think it'll be nice. Here the, we go. If the taste uh, is like it. You give it a go first. Yep, okay. you give it a go. The sauce has gone thicker, hasn't it, Anna? Definitely, but it's fine. Oh uh, yeah, I can. It was the perfect consistency before. Yeah. What would you mm. rate that out of 10? I'm going to have another bit more. After this bit, you can rate it. What do you rate it out of 10, Mummy? Yeah, it's good. Is it good? Does yeah, it taste good. like Ikea? Oh, yeah, yeah, I think it does. It is my turn. It's identical. What do you think? Absolutely unreal. Do you like it? I love it. What would you give it out of 10? 10, easily. Oh my god, okay. I'm definitely gonna have more meatballs and more of this sauce. Wow. Would you? Absolutely, I think mm. that's phenomenal. And that is the end of this video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. This is definitely, I wanna say my favourite fake way that so we've good. had so far. Yeah. So good. If you want to, you can just like copy us. Yeah. Yeah. You can make the sack same, but you need to like know the recipe to do it. And leave so, them in the fridge for the full two hours. I will put the recipe down below. Thank you very much for watching. Smash a huge thumbs up. up. And I will see you very soon for a brand new video. Bye. Bye.